Hi, Bill here. Uh, doing another video for you about Lyme disease. Today I was going to just talk a little bit about supplementation with Lyme disease and I think I'd already about a week ago showed you a little kind of vitamin herb haul and I'm going to do that again today with some of the stuff that I got in the mail and just want to show you some of the stuff that I'm taking, a lot of the things that have helped me. Uh, there's a little bit of, I guess you could say, method to my madness. I'll, I'll show um, you know, a lot of the stuff that I'm taking, not everything, but some of it, and, uh, but also why I'm taking it and, uh, and under what recommendations I'm doing that. I've uh, done a lot of looking into this since I got Lyme disease, and I'm doing a lot of things that uh, Dr. Joseph Boroscano talks about in his uh, talks and his literature, and also Richard Horowitz is another Lyme expert. And I'm, uh, I guess you could say I'm doing uh, what they call an integ integrative approach to Lyme disease. I'm doing antibiotics, and I'll get into that at another time, what I'm taking there. And I'm also doing um, verbal protocols, and I'm, I'm doing uh, what they call the Booner protocol. Stephen Booner, I'm, I'm doing a lot of his stuff and a lot of the supplements that they all recommend in, in their protocols. So I'm going to show you some of that today. I'll try to maybe do a little bit of a uh, video here showing where I got some of the stuff from, uh, Boris Scanner's guidelines and, uh, and uh, all of that for you. And so I'm just going to unpack some stuff for you here and show that to you, and then I'll show you some of that information and where I got it from. Okay, this is part two of my... Uh, I guess you could call it supplement, vitamin, and herb haul. <laughs> um, another uh, package from Vitacost of supplements. Um, show you what we got here. Uh, see if the camera picks that up. CoQ10. I take a lot of that. Um, as I said in other videos, Vitacost has a deal a lot of times. Buy one, get one 50% off. So I do that a lot. Uh, alpha lipoic acid. This is um, one thing I'll say here. Um, one doctor I've uh, studied a lot of what he talks about is uh, Joseph Boriscanner. He's one of the pioneers of, of Lyme disease uh, treatment and research. He's probably treated, I'm going to say, 13 to 15,000 patients, something like that. And he has not really a book per se out, but he has a thing. Uh, which is the guidelines, basically that's what they call it, and you can find that on ILAD's website. And he has what he would call, I guess, your top 10 mandatory supplements you should take. Two of those I just showed you, CoQ10 and alpha-lipoic acid is supposed to help the uh, CoQ10 absorb into your system. Uh, another one is turmeric. You all know what that is. That's really good for uh, inflammation. Uh, here is, uh, it's called Eleuthero. This is an herb that is um, really good for fatigue. I've been taking this. You have to rotate this. You can't take this on an ongoing basis. This one is a pretty strong. Uh, that probably doesn't pick that up, but Herb Farm makes one that's actually two to one strength, which is really strong. Uh, so I've been taking that pretty much 30 to 60 days on and then a couple weeks off for fatigue. Uh, more good probiotics. You all know we all need that, and that's definitely in the top 10 for Boris Scanner's guidelines. So that was some Vitacost stuff. Here is a package of different herbs. This is from a company called Pacific Botanicals. It's in Oregon. So we'll just go down through what all is in here. This is uh, more of the Eleuthero root. This I'll be taking and making uh, tincture out of. But I bought the bottle of uh, pre made tincture to get by on until I get that made. And wheatgrass juice powder. This is good for energy, for uh, making smoothies out of. I have a recipe from uh, Stephen Booner that I'm going to be trying. A lot of the stuff that's in this box is part of that recipe for chronic fatigue, which you all know what that's like having Lyme disease. Shisandra berries. Uh, these are really good for um, energy and also for sleep. Uh, part of Booner's protocol that I'm on for Bartonella and for Lyme. I'll be making some 
tincture out of that. They're really good for um, antioxidant for uh, for helping your body uh, produce glutathione to detox your body and give you energy. Chlorella powder, more stuff for the uh, smoothies for chronic fatigue. Meadow sweet herb. Um, some of these are also going to be a uh, concoction for uh, Lyme arthritis, that being one of them. Licorice root, um, this is another one that's really good for uh, immune modulation. We'll be making some tincture out of that. And it also goes in with the uh, one of the concoctions I was just talking about, dandelion root and leaf. I, I think I got root in the last uh, package. This is leaf. More for the uh, arthritis tea and the chronic fatigue formula. Peppermint leaf will also be going in those. Milk thistle seed powder. This will be also going in the uh, chronic fatigue formula, but as you all know, this is really important uh, for your liver function. Uh, Boris Scanner probably has that in his top 10 if I looked. can't remember right now. Horsetail shoots. Yep, never heard of that before, but it's part of the uh, Lyme arthritis tea that I'm going to be trying. And devil's claw root. Um, this one is also going to be going in that arthritis tea. I've, I've been taking capsules of this for quite a while and it's really helped my arthritis in my hands and, and my uh, knees and feet. So that's it for this uh, haul for now. This is uh, part two I guess you could call it but uh, for me it's probably part 15 or 20 and I will be uh, doing a video soon showing everything I'm doing and try to tie that all together for you. So go to ilads.org and under About Lyme, go to Treatment Guidelines. And scroll down, pardon my slow computer here. Scroll down to right here. Diagnostic hints and treatment guidelines for Lyme and other tick-borne illnesses. This is uh, from the famous Dr. Joseph Boriscanu. Um, and I've already downloaded this. And this is uh, his guidelines and it goes into great detail under uh, you know what is Lyme disease just all kinds of background information that goes into a lot of uh, good symptom checklists um, and treatment guidelines um, a lot of different categories there about different uh, co-infections and the one thing that I was sorry if this is making you dizzy scrolling down through this so fast the one thing I was talking about in my uh, video here today was the supplements that he recommends. Um, get down to it here. Sorry if it's taking a little bit for my slow computer to get down to it. Okay, nutritional supplements in disseminated Lyme disease. You know, that means it's gone all through you, basically. Um, if you listen to him and Horowitz, a lot of these guys will define um, chronic Lyme as somebody who's been sick for a year or more. Uh, here is his recommendations for um, what to take. These are pretty much what he calls mandatory. Good probiotics, a good multivitamin, the CoQ10 and the uh, ALA that I showed you in my vitamin haul. Uh, good vitamin B complex, magnesium. He, if you read this here, he recommends the Mag Tab SR. I've taken that a lot. I've also taken uh, magnesium uh, malate. Take a lot of that for the muscle tightness and soreness. Uh, EFAs, central fatty acids, a lot of good um, things that'll do for you. Fish oils and, and uh, 
I take the krill oil a lot. I also take a lot of flax oil and uh, cod liver oil and uh, evening primrose oil and I take a lot of olive oil. Uh, NT factors is something that I took for a while that is really really good for fatigue. It really helps your um, mitochondria energy. Uh, it is a little pricey though. So that's pretty much his uh, must takes that you pretty much have to do to to help treat your Lyme. And then there's lots of other things here that are good for you. Green tea, a lot of people are B12 deficient, which I am, so I'm taking some of that. Cordyceps is very good for fatigue and for your uh, immune function. I'm taking a lot of that. A lot of uh, mushroom extracts are really good for you. Transfer factors is sort of like the NT factor. It's also really good for your uh, mitochondrial energy. Uh, some of those, again, are a little pricey, but I found them pretty helpful. Vitamin C, obviously, is good for a lot of things. Vitamin D, I was also deficient in. I'm uh, supplementing that. And the milk thistle... Uh, is also good for your liver function. So that's pretty much what I'm going to show you for, for this. You can download this on your own or if anybody uh, just want me, wants me to send them a copy of it, just leave a message in the uh, comments below. So I was just showing you a lot of um, the supplements that I'm taking and, uh, and why I'm taking them. And I'm, I'm not doing that to say look at me or anything like that. It's, Trust me, I'd rather not be taking all this stuff and spending money on it. But uh, I really wanted to just uh, kind of show you, um, you know, why I'm taking some of the stuff, where I got the information I got it from. I, uh, I've really seen a lot of new people online lately that think they have Lyme or have Lyme, and they're they're just they're just starting into this uh, nightmare. I guess you could call it. And, you know, they're scared. And I remember being there. I, I know that feeling. So I, I just want to help uh, people out out there that are uh, trying to educate themselves on this and uh, share what I've learned so far. And I've uh, based a lot of it on, you know, research with the doctors that I mentioned before, or Scano and, and Horowitz and, and different people out there. And I actually have a uh, playlist on my YouTube. So I'm going to kind of show you some of that and some of the resources that I used to learn about a lot of this uh, so that anybody else that's out there whether you knew or you've had Lyme for 20 years a lot of that might be uh, beneficial to you. Here's my YouTube channel I just wanted to show you um, where I have a lot of my Lyme doctor talks that I spoke about. Uh, if anybody's curious that's a picture of Mount Katahdin in Maine that's the northern end of the Appalachian Trail that I did a few years ago. Um, I have a playlist here called Lyme Doctor Talks and if you go into that uh, some of the best talks that I have found by the leading Lyme doctors in the country uh, Richard Horowitz that's him there in the picture at the top um, he has one of his newer talks there about some different new drugs that he's trying and different therapies that he's doing for Lyme disease. Uh, Boris Ganu, uh, he goes into a lot of treatments there. They had a, a conference in, in Norway a couple years ago that him and Horowitz were at. Uh, Co-infections, that's another thing that Horowitz did. They had a a uh, bunch of talks in uh, Maryland a couple years ago that him and, and Boris Gano were at. Um, I believe both of them were. Why Can't I Get Better? That's Horowitz there. He had a really good book by that title and he's got a new one out called How Can I Get Better? That's a really good book. Uh, there's some uh, Q&A with them there which is some really good information. And uh, some ILADS interviews of those two guys that are really good information about Lyme. Another one about the history of Lyme. There's a few there by Alan McDonald. He's the guy that did a lot of the microbiology along with uh, Boris Scanner, just looking at how Lyme reacts to different things in the body, treatment, and, and uh, 
five films, a lot of information about that. The Cowden Support Program, I haven't personally done that, but I know some people who have. It's an herbal protocol with a lot of different things for Lyme. I know him and Horowitz worked a lot together on that stuff. Really good information in there about Lyme. And the last one there by Boris Gano, he, do, he goes into a lot of the history of Lyme and um, testing and, and where we're at. So I just thought I would uh, show you all that so that some of you can use those resources that I've accumulated. So that's it for today. I hope some of that was uh, helpful to you. If there's anything else that you want me to talk about, please leave a message in the comments below and, and I'll do my best to answer any questions you might have about anything. Thanks. Have a good day.